Now, as I've mentioned before, this is now my third um, UMC. It's a different design than the earlier two. Uh, you can tell by the way the, the lights go. It's hard to see in this video, but the old ones were much uh, wider uh, LED lights, whereas this is a very narrow strip, and the whole unit was actually quite a bit wider. I think a little bit longer, too. Uh, for the first two, I should say. The first two were the same basic unit. This one is uh, a smaller overall unit, thinner LED lights, and most notably, the distance on the cord is dramatically shorter. So while you may have seen pictures in the past where I had kind of the setup over here using code hooks that I could just kind of like pop into, uh, this one would not go there. So here's what I came up with instead. This isn't finished. This is just kind of a, a quick, you know, hit it on the saw. Like you can see, I still need to sand some of the edges here. But this is the same basic idea, um, and I'll probably add some kind of cushions here. But basically, it sits here against this aluminum plate, in case there's any heat issues. And um, it's strapped to that so that it doesn't get knocked out, and it's also spaced so that there's some strain relief on the cord. If I actually just let this hang, it would probably hang about a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch at the most, lower than it is. So there's a little bit of strain relief built in there. And then uh, this just keeps it from getting knocked off there and causing problems. I wound up with a little bit of a shelf be uh, uh, behind, so I have an adapter and I just stuck back there just so it would be near my charger if I go somewhere and offer to, gra to uh, grab that. And then I ended up having to put the cord a lot lower than it was before. Before the cord, um, I think actually it was hanging off of it was hanging off of that hole. So uh, anyway, I needed to figure out what to do with it, and I didn't like the idea of the wand part being on the ground. So I found this guy, or I should say, I found this um, holder. I was looking for something that would hold the uh, wand correctly. And sure enough, someone had come up with a version. And then this is kind of a hack off of that version that has rounded edges. And I found it on, um, uh, where did I find it? I think I found it on Etsy. And from there, kind of went through some gyrations and, and found a, uh, a place that would print things uh, 3D. So... Uh, this was eight dollars. Or no, sorry, it was nine dollars shipped. So it was nine dollars to get this shipped, and uh, I'm going to mount it up probably about there, or maybe there. I don't know. I have to decide. But I did test it, and the wand holds it uh, holds in there very well. I'll show you where I got it from here in a minute. If you go on one of those 3D printing printing sites, the company you're looking for is that one. And like I said, it was uh, nine dollars shipped. So uh, I'm gonna put it on there, and I'll show you how it works. All right. Well, there it is, screwed into the wall. Uh, I actually only used half of the screws because it just seems like overkill to put four screws into that. And we got the wand, and uh, there you go, just like that. Fits on there quite nicely. Uh, I, I thought about putting it next to the plug, but it would then conflict with this edge a little bit more so I just moved it over and, and actually that's that's a comfortable height and it kind of looks a little balanced there all my weird stuff in one place and then I'll, I'll coil the cord up there a little bit better afterward and uh, oh this in case you're wondering it's just a uh, just one of these clips just like that that's all so taking this on and off um, not a big deal just a section of strap that I had laying around, so uh, I put that back on later. But and I gained a little shelf for my adapters and whatnot, and uh, this should keep uh, it off the floor. And it goes out uh, in and out quite nicely. So there you go, nine dollars. I'd say that's nine dollars well spent.